the bull fights back. The sun beat down on the orange, sandy earth. A farm wagon pulled by two donkeys rumbled past, throwing up clouds of dust. As the dust settled, Sarah and Jamie saw the towers and spires of a walled city surrounded by vineyards. It's pretty obvious where we are. Is it? Yeah. Look at the poster now to that tree. Go on then, Noel. Tell me. It's a bullfight, of course. We're in Spain. Land of toreadors, picadors, matadors... And, uh... Revolving doors? Ha oh, ha, oh, very good. Oh, watch where you're going. Stop! Thief! My purse! I have been robbed! That man in the fancy clothes doesn't look too pleased. He's a matter. You can tell by his hat and his scarlet cape. This girl, she is the thief. <laughs> Leave me alone! So, my little beauty... You think you're going to steal the purse of the greatest scammy or champion bullfighter of Sevilla, eh? I ain't got your stinking purse. Hi, scammy, you was not born yesterday. You gypsies are born thieves. She didn't do anything. We saw the bloke who stole it. Didn't you see him in a leather waistcoat? You big bully. Why don't you pick on someone your own size? Like you, perhaps, eh? <laughs> Nobody bites us, come you and gets away with it. Ah, oh, 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 my shins. That's ah. what you get for accusing me of stealing. Focus on I get you. Oh, I get you. Leave her alone, fancy pants. The gypsy wildcat. Escamillo will be revenge. Let's scram. I've had enough of this. Good idea. For your help. We gypsies need friends. Some folk here hate us. We get the blame for everything. Don't worry, we know you didn't do it. That's kind of you. I'd like to repay your kindness. Please do me the honor of sharing a humble meal at our camp. Oh, great. I'm starving. By the way, I'm Sarah, and this is my brother Jamie. Uh, my name is Carmen. Let's go and eat. Where do you live? Our camp is in the hills above the city. Follow me. After a long, hot walk in the afternoon sun, they came upon a group of brightly painted caravans. Several children ran about laughing, pursued by a woman in a headscarf. A ribbon of blue smoke rose from a campfire and a tangy smell of roasting meat filled the air. Here we are. This is my home. Oh, something smells good. My brother's always thinking of his stomach. Don't pretend you're not hungry too. You're just trying to impress Carmen. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Oh, come and meet Ramon. He's my best friend. Your best friend's a bull? He's huge! Look at those horns, they're massive! <laughs> my Ramon is tame. He pulls my caravan. Watch while I hum a tune in his ear. He just loves music. a true gypsy. Dinner will be ready soon. But before that, I will read your fortunes. You have to cross my palm with silver, as we say. I'm afraid we haven't got a peseta between us. <laughs> Never mind. I'm a terrible fortune teller anyway. I'm a much better dancer. <laughs> See? When we really want to know the future, we ask Madame Suleka. Who's she? She has the gift. 
but she is old, and she hardly ever leaves her caravan. It's the one with the stars on it over there. Let's go and see her then. Oh, sometimes it's better not to know the future. You can't play games with Madame Suleika. Some of us believe she is a witch, but we're not sure if it's white or black magic. Hi, hey, isn't that Escamillo? And all his friends by the look of it. I, Escamillo, have come. Big deal. Yeah. Yes, I have come for revenge. Joe, girl, you took my purse. I demand it back, or I and my corridors will take compensation. I told you, I ain't got your stinking purse. Then you give me no choice. I heard you have a bull. You're not taking my Ramon. Oh, oh, what's the matter, chica? What are all these men doing here? He says I stole his... Do not interfere! <laughs> this is none of your business. Come on, men. This bull is mine now. We take him and go. I fight Ramon in the bull ring tomorrow. Adios! Ramon! No! Don't cry, Carmen. Maybe Ramon will beat Escamillo. Oh, you don't know how cruel the bullfight is. Even the strongest, bravest bull has little chance. Oh, poor Ramon would be like a lamb in his slaughterhouse. He's only got angry once in his whole life when a wasp stung him here, on the behind. Then he went crazy and smashed the world to little stones. Otherwise, he is gentle. His Camilo will kill him easily. So Ramon's got a sensitive spot on his bum, has he? Carmen, you've just given me an idea. Have you got any elastic? Elastic? What's elastic? It sort of keeps things up. Forget it. I've got some in my pants. I'll use that. What century is this, by the way? 19th. Thought as much. What do you want elastic for? Aha, uh -huh. you'll see. Food is ready. Come and eat. <laughs> the meal. That's better. I'm off to practice now. Practice what? Like I said, you'll see. I do hope he's not going to do anything stupid. I must know Ramon's fate. I'm going to consult Madame Zuleika. Are you coming with me? Sure. Who's there? It's me, Carmen. Enter. Ah, yes. I can see in my crystal ball why you are here. Come closer. Sit. I see you have brought a stranger. Hi. Silencio. A stranger from far away. She'll be a friend to Carmen. Now, let me look for a moment into my crystal ball. What do you see, madame? What will happen at the bullfight tomorrow? I see there is another stranger. A boy. Another good friend, but hot-headed. Trust the music. Now go. Leave me to my dream. she meant. Madame Zuleka's words have many meanings. Hi, Jamie. What's that you've just put in your pocket? What? Oh, nothing. You're up to something. I can tell. You'll find out soon enough. I'm looking forward to this. I've never been to a bullfight before. I don't know how you can be so cheerful, Jamie. Carmen might lose her best friend. Wait and see. Sit. 
Silencio, por favor. Thank you. Today, I bring you a special treat. A supreme test of the bravery of Escamillo. Today, I will engage the gypsy bull you see before you in mortal combat. Without help from my Toreador's lances, I shall face this fearsome beast alone with just my cape and a sword. Get on with it, then! Hey! Toro! Toro! Hey! Ole! Ole! You see? Here is easy. I, the great Escamillo, have hypnotized the gypsy boy with my bullfighting skill. But Escamillo is merciful. I will give the cowardly bull a quick death. Time to liven things up a bit. What do you mean? Time to try out my catapult. Jamie, no! Thank you! Thank you! Bullseye! What a shot! Watch out, Escamillo! Behind you, the bull's coming to get you! Huh? What? Now for some fun. Remember what Coleman said about Ramon's sensitive backside? You're crazy! Do you realise what you've just done? Escamillo's just getting what he deserves. He doesn't stand a chance. Mama! Misty, thank heavens. He's coming back. I've never seen Ramon so angry. It's time to save Ramon. gypsy camp. Everyone had started planning a huge celebration that evening, with them as guests of honour. There was even talk of inviting Escamillo. Sorry about throwing my catapult at Ramon. You have to admit, though, he did the trick. It's all right. I've got Ramon back in one piece, and that's all that matters to me. I don't think we'll tell Escamillo what happened, though. Just let me know if you get any more clever ideas, Jamie. As a matter of fact, I have. I made this sign. We can stick it next to Ramon's hitching post. What does it say, then? Look, matadors, beware. This, this bull fights back. <laughs> <laughs> the music in The Bull Fights Back is taken from the Carmen Suites 1 and 2 by Bizet. At the beginning of the prelude, Strings play a scurrying accompaniment to a slow, spooky tune.
brass fanfare starts the Aragonese. Then, an oboe plays a dance tune. The intermezzo begins with a slow, gentle tune, played by the flute and harp. In the Segedi, a clarinet and strings play a quick, jumpy waltz. A march played by bassoons and side drums, starts the soldiers of Alcalia. In the Toreadors, cymbals crash as the orchestra plays a loud, quick march. Then the strings play a slower, gentler tune. The March of the Smugglers begins with a slow, quiet tune from the flute. The habanera is a lilting dance played by the strings. Strings begin the grand, proud Toreador song. The trumpet plays a gentler, slow march. Children's Chorus opens with a loud trumpet fanfare. Then the piccolo plays a quick skipping tune. The Bohemian dance is a quick, swirling tune, played first by the flute.
crashing cymbals and the whole orchestra bring the dance to an end. These are just a few of the highlights from Bizet's Carmen Suites 1 and 2. You're bound to discover more every time you listen.